Hello dear ones, it's Sarah. Oh, we're doing another hike today and I just want to show you some conkers. Oh, it has to open. Oops. It's like from the alien movie, kind of peeling back. <laughs> Oh, chestnut tree. Oh, oh, that's a Today I'm going to sound like one. Out of breath. I'm walking up Cat Bells, the north, north, north of the lakes, lakes <laughs> district. Bear with me one moment. Here we are. It's the path we've come down. Uh, that's dear wet water. considered a, a good starter if you're not used to climbing fells and mountains so that's good got good views I think it's only 450 ish meters so, some sheep let's make some gravel swims Curve my heavy brake bit. <laughs> oh. I do like the sounds of gravel. People walking on gravel. Especially crunchy gravel. This isn't too crunchy. So it says it's about a mile high, mostly it takes an hour, depending how obviously fast she walks. Just coming up on it. There's the peak. There's a few more hills in the distance. 
So we made it to the top. Um, there is a path that leads off. And I don't know one, but I don't, I think that's a different one. I don't think that's the top of Cat Bells. But it might be. But we're not going to risk it because it's ten past six now. And the sun sets about half seven. And there's a little bit of a scramble uh, back down. So we don't want to risk doing it in the dark, even though we have got head torches. It's better to be sensible. So, but yeah, it was worth a climb, worth the views. And now, here's your head back there, down where there's a couple of areas. So that's us, Keswick, one quarter mile left. It's dark now. We're just doing some night hiking back to Keswick. We've got our head torches on and we're just taking care as we're walking alongside a road. Right at the top, you mean the light? Mm. Not sure. It's gone now. No, I can oh. see a light right at the top. We're about a mile, just over a mile now to Keswick, so it's not been too bad. Uh, the 
rain stayed off all day and we haven't really had any wind. Temperatures have been pretty good. So I've been very lucky. Ow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little spiky bits. <laughs> As the title suggests, this is our second attempt at cat bells. I'm voicing over this footage because it was too windy and you just couldn't hear me properly. So after leaving what we thought was cat bells last night, we realised it actually wasn't. We had a further walk to do before we reached the top. So today was our last day and we were going to climb Skidore Mountain. That's actually cat bells there now. Um, but Google Maps led us down and sent us on a wild goose chase to the point where it was just too late to even attempt to climb a mountain. Um, especially with the sun setting early and now we've moved into autumn. So we took a drive and decided to do cat bells but do it from the other less quiet side or sorry more quiet aside so we've just been heading up there now and that's the path that we're going to continue up to reach the summit there's the Cumbrian mountains we've had a bit of blue sky poking, poking through today and there's Ed my partner on the trail <laughs> so here is a a short time warp of our final ascent up to Cat Bells. I didn't use any audio footage here, it was just too windy. Um, I do need to get one of those little fluffy <laughs> things for my microphone, so I just thought I'd speak over. So we're just coming up to the final bit and and the views oh, were just stunning. I mean, as I said, it's not the biggest fell in the Lake District, but the views of the Derwent Water and over to Skidor Mountain are just breathtaking. So we're just, we're going to kind of curve around that little mound and that'll take us to the tree. So we finally made it to the top of Cat Bells. Um, and there we are, just hitting the trig point. Amazing views, but very windy. So I'm just panning around just to show you the full 360 views from up there. And just down there where I'm pointing is where we were yesterday. So as you can see, we were quite a way off from the actual top of Cat Bells, but we did it. Come down, we just had a sandwich, and we're going to try. Is it half four now? Gonna maybe try walk up the hill just beyond, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, which takes you up to Maiden Moor Fell, and after that it's High Seat, and you can actually do a horseshoe walk. We could walk along the two and then drop down back in and walk back to the car park. But I'm not sure if we're going to do all the walk. I'll just spin you around and show you quickly. Yeah. 
over there. You can see that little bit of water is don't water. It's where we've just come from. And that's path. We're gonna walk a little a little up there. And you can see it goes gonna put you away and if it's not too windy I'll try filming with you and show you the top So here we are now on top of Maiden Moor and where I'm pointing now is Cat Bells where we've just come from and there's, that's the path we came up and if you follow it along where my finger's pointing that would be take you up to, to, to High Seat and that's a, a horseshoe walk you can do it was freezing up there and extremely windy, but we made it and now we're going to start heading back down. We made a moor and we found a little cave. Can't see, we went a little bit up and it turns and then it just keeps going and going. Um, but I don't think we're going to go and venture too far. No one knows we're here and we don't have the right equipment. But I'm going to try and find it on the map. So. Sun's just set in. Just see some pink clouds. There's cat bells. And this is the one we've just climbed down from over the bridge. It's the last. 
sure from the OS map that we were on up there, the Maiden Wall. So, we just had some news that the uh, town we live in has been put on lockdown. Uh, we go home tomorrow. So, I guess that will be for a couple of weeks, maybe. Just made me appreciate the last few hours even more. The freedom that we often take for granted, just being out in nature or just being in love with loved ones. I just bless every moment. Sheepies. Oh. Trying to find the bat has just flew past. There it is.
stream. Thank you for joining us on this hike through the Lake District. See you again.